Oh, hey, how's it going? You want to come do firewood with us today? Great. I'll show you what we go through in the morning. Follow me. Oh, first we got to chuck the truck out. Make sure she got fluids and everything. Let's go have a look. Basically, just look at the outside of it. Make sure there's plenty of oil on the outside, because if there's oil on the outside, there's oil on the inside. There's a dipstick though. Fluid's in there, it's green. Looks good to me. Everything seems in order. Let's check the tires. Yeah, there's a tire. There's another tire. Check our big old stack of springs here. Oh yeah, looks great, perfect. Plenty of self-lubricant in there, brand new shackle. That tire's got air in it. Looks good. Shackle's good. Oh, yeah. We're going to run it. Here's the uh, tire. Uh, let's just make sure these lockouts are released here. Disengage. See the disengage, engage. Make sure it disengaged. Disengage. Yep, we're good. Done a little bit of work to this thing. Pretty simple and reliable. Belt's a little loose. We'll fix that. Might squeak a little. All right. It's good. Satisfying clunk. Well, let's get her started. Well, we're in the truck. Cut out the part where I climbed in. It's embarrassing. I don't want anybody to see that. So, some people forget what it's like to start a carbureted vehicle. I know I had forgotten when I bought this truck, 1980 Chevy K20 with a 292 straight six, in case anybody's curious. Pretty simple process. You got your throttle down here, kick it to the floor, pull out your manual choke with the pedal to the floor, release the pedal, turn that fan off, blowing around cold air. Give it a twist, you're gonna hear it burp. Oh, start right up that time. So once you hear it burp, you just kind of push the push the choke cable in a little bit. Get some air. Let's go outside and see how it sounds. Oh yeah. Clap top gears here, guys. 
Got one purpose. It's a big old, big old rusty hammer. Lips wood, falls metal. Not much of a grocery getter. Three-speed automatic transmission. Pretty much uh, 55 miles an hour. This thing's wrong out about the end of the world for it. Nice to drive around though. Tell you what though, I've owned a lot of trucks. Whooped, clapped out trucks. Never really anything new. This is probably the best whooped, clapped out truck I ever owned. I'll do my best to make sure I stay with the square body. He's sneaky, but she's seen the gas station. I gotta pull in. Well, we're all done at the fuel shop. We went and took all our money for the morning, so we're gonna have to go make some more. Now it should start every time. cutting up this pile of logs here on the other side of the truck can't see it here i'll get a good picture of it and uh you know we'll uh, work till we're beat and then we'll take a break and work some more okay you all ready to start sharpening our chains up okay i'll do mine first and then you can do yours i'll bring you up closer so you can see how the how it's done maybe not the right way but it's gonna get it sharp and uh that's all that really matters. You gotta cut some wood. Okay, well, we got the saw all set. Usually there's a colored link to tell you where to start and where to end. This is a cheaper chain, so I don't have one of those. Get your gloves on, you don't want to cut your fingers. Get your sharpener, steel sharpener. Basically a fancy Dremel. Not the best way, but it's good and fast, and that's fine. Okay, now that we're all sharp, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hunt around here. See if we can't find some gas and oil for this pig, because she is thirsty, real thirsty. Let's go. Ready to get to work? Too cold. I'm just looking up here to see if it's not all covered in mud. It's probably not the safest place to be. Don't try this at home, kids. This little load looks pretty good. A little bit of mud, but that's what we do. Buddy Wood. Hop on down here. We got one more piece of machinery to light up here. Let's get the tractor started. All right. <clears throat> well, starting this old set of clapped out gears, a lot like a pickup truck. First, you gotta check our fluids. This is a Ford, though, so you gotta make sure the fluid's inside of it. It's got a dipstick. On the other side. Let's grab this dipstick out of here. Take it around. Just wanna, just wanna have a look at it. Make sure there's plenty of oil in there. It's in the safe range. All right, back to the front of it. Pop this here hood off. And Later on, we're gonna pop that hood off. Put the seat down. 
I gotta sit in the old captain's chair here. Make sure all our brakes are freed up, are stuck, frozen in mud. Perfect. Clutch, frozen. <coughs> Good. Now we get all this crust of snow off in here. Get a little bit of throttle. You can't turn the interlock here. Well, you don't want to move. Alright, we're in business now, kids. Alright, choke it. And whirl it over. Hopefully she starts. And start beautifully. Like you were hoping for. Okay, let's put this thing up in the air, get it cut. Off the air, on the ground in the air. All right, let's get to work. <clears throat> Dangerous work, guys. Oh, hi. So you had a good day today? We did pretty good for a half day's worth of work. Got probably about three, four cord worth of wood cut up, but the chain on the chainsaw is duller than a butter knife and can't keep burning through all this wood, not getting enough done. We're gonna call it. Good day. Go ahead and round up all your stuff. We're gonna get out of here, find some warm coffee and hot dinner. Thanks for coming along today, appreciate it. Bye.